so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install lath on your project. We have this outhouse here that they built and it's completely detached from the existing and we're gonna be installing a uh, the lath which is a paper, a wire and that's all just prep work before we can actually stucco the building. So we're gonna get started with the uh, weed screed which is <coughs> which goes on the base of the actual building. You're installing weave screen, you want to make a cut like this. Cut the top, a little bit at the bottom. So when you're doing it with the old one, it connects like a puzzle. I'm gonna show you how to apply the paper. You're gonna need one of these right here. I put a knife in the bag just to make a life a little easier. You know, slide on the wand and cut my paper. It's a little dangerous, but it's up to you. Now this is shear wall. Every time there's shear wall, you want to do two roll, two coats of uh, 16 minute paper so it can pass inspection or else it won't pass inspection. Grab your crayon like this, mark all the studs. That way when you're stapling, you know exactly where to staple. Got one here. Mm -hmm. Anytime there's a window, you always wanna make sure you go underneath this flashing to make sure it's waterproof. Go as high as you can go. All right, when you do your second, second roll of paper, you're gonna give it about four inches of overlap. That way it's nice and waterproof. Start right there. And then when you're rolling out paper, don't put any staples in the bottom. Put them on the top, roll your way out. Put more staples on top. Once you have it all stretched out, then you put staples on the bottom. Just to make your life a little easier. Time to install some wire. I like to unroll the wire a little bit just to make my life a little easier. So put it on there. Put 
put it now in the top right corner. And put it now in the top left corner here. That way it makes it a little easier. That way you can move it around if you need to. What I like to do is grab the wire. Let's put your second line of wires. This one you want to leave about three inch overlap. Helps prevent cracking. We're only use nails at the uh, very top make your life a little easier when you're laying out when you laying it out the cuts on the windows i wouldn't worry about those till the very end Go about one foot across, one foot past. That way it makes it easier when you start on this corner and it makes it waterproof. The reason I told you not to cut this window is because if there was loose wire here, this wire would be getting stuck right now. You know, it'd make my life a little harder. We can cut that wire at the very end. Go. Once you got nails on the top, you can put nails on the bottom.
since you have your scaffold up already, you might as well finish off the stapling. <clears throat> so on the stapling, you want to go about every six inches. And you want to follow the studs. That way <clears throat> it grabs and it's not going to fall off the wall. Staples, these are Senko style staples. They're inch and a quarter. That way it penetrates the actual shear wall and goes into the studs. So you want to make sure you have the inch and a quarter if it's shear wall. We'll do a line across the top all the way. Make sure you apply caulking to any electrical outlets and lights. Now it's time to staple the bottom. If there's any pipes sticking out, make sure you cock those too. Last, you're gonna wanna install your corner aid. You can see where the weave screen ends? That's where you put your your end. I usually start at the bottom, work work my way up. <clears throat> you want to make sure you got about seven eighths or just about an inch of plaster. And this is going to be your uh, just your end point. 
it's gonna be your guide for your stucco. So you gotta make sure that's nice and straight. And once you once you're done with that, you're pretty much done with the uh, with the lath. You can call for inspection and uh, start getting ready for your scratch coat. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.